Hello, my lovely Cancerians. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing magnificent. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Cancer, let's get straight into it. But before we get into your love reading, I'll be using Wisdom of the Oracle. I'll be pulling out three cards. And let me just clear that for you. And let's see uh, what current energies are around you. But, you know, more of the, uh, more importantly, it's kind of like the energies that are coming towards you um, as well, based on what's happening in the present, of course. So let's see. For Cancer, please. Let's see the main messages um, for you. There's one. Thank you second one and the last one please whoops for cancer please there we go see absolutely bottom of the deck we have building blocks interesting isn't it something that you've been working so hard I'm and I just got the word I'm tired the word sorry I'm tired and I'm tired I'm mentally I'm physically completely you know physically you're completely spent here um, especially when it comes to work you've been building your career you've been building up your finances you're working towards something bigger than you but I'm, I'm just getting here that it's, it, it is going to pay off because we have eight and two eight nine ten which is one which is an ace the beginning of something magnificent what's underneath that yeah oh you got one of the best cards really treasure island it's there the chest is open and all the treasures everything that you want and it's going to be different for everyone because Cancer and Cross Watchers, we don't all want the same thing. We don't all want the red car or the big house. We, you know, might, might want to live in the city, preferably for me. I love the farm. For, exam for example, you're going to do it, but you've got no one to thank except yourself. Yes, maybe some people helped you, but you worked your butt off and it's there. The treasure island is there and the box is open or the chest is open. Yeah, and look at that, round and round. There's also something here that has been going like on the merry-go-round as well. Perhaps it's almost like we're working always with the same job. We're always in the same cycle with love here. I have a feeling that something's about to change. I want to see how these cards reflect it, but it's been going on for far too long. Yeah, maybe I think it could be time to go. I've got hermit-like energy here or the eight of cups, you know, which is Pisces energy. It's time to go. But your happiness, your whatever you perceive as when you open that treasure chest and there's you know, your treasures, it's going to be different for everyone, but it's there. It's because you worked for it. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Message in a bottle. Five plus one is six. It's healing. It's happiness. It's something that you've wanted, something that you've worked so hard. So let's just say, Cancer, that you pitched an idea. You want a loan, yes? Or you have this idea that, um, you know, I want to start selling or do something on the side or I want to apply for a job. Now, I know that sounds very general, doesn't it, Cancer? Because it's like, okay, yeah, everyone's going to get messages. No, this is something that you have worked very hard towards. So you may be waiting for an answer. Perhaps you want to sell a script. You want to publish a book. It's something that you've worked so hard and it's just, it's just that one message, that one letter that you think it's going to change everything. It's going to happen. This definitely can happen within six hours, six days, six weeks. I, I rarely see it beyond that. What else? Oh yeah, it's going to happen fast. Definitely. Look at this TikTok. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. You may even feel the need. It's like, do I need to do something else? I need to cross the T's, dot the I's. I need to tie all the knots. Am I doing the right thing? This message is inevitable. It's not, are you going to get a positive response? Because it's going to be positive. I'm telling you that right now because you've got the treasure island. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, treasure island. I was going to say treasure chest. No, no, no. It's just, it's a matter, a question of when. It's inevitable. It's a beautiful time to be cancer. What else? And what do we get after that? Peace. Look at that. Peace. Three and two. Two plus three, five. Changes now. Peace. I'm also seeing the death card here where your old self, it dies away. Now you can put your shoulders down. I feel like a lot of you have been holding your breath for the past two to three years. That's what I'm getting. It's like, oh, I, the, end, the end of this year is going to end fantastic for all of you, Cancer, because you've worked so hard for it. Something that 
It's your because all of our wishes are different. Like I said, we don't all want the same thing. So let's talk about those three main things that you really want. It's gonna happen, yeah. And this round and round of the whole, you know, being in that job, being in that relationship, or just being in that four of cups energy where you're bored. It's like when's it gonna change? Yeah, you're gonna go towards what peace. You're on the right path, Cancer. So you are going to get a happy message very soon and it's just going to lead to peace ah definitely could be also someone um that wants to make peace with you here as well so take it as it resonates okay let's get to your main reading so overall with your energy i must say is that we've got changes perhaps someone does want to make peace or make amends with you but overall that is your energy i can see you putting your shoulders down you're going to be sleeping better at night suddenly we're not doing shallow breaths of anxiety because I just got, yeah, Spirit said the majority of you suffer from anxiety. It's like, I mean, listen, we all have anxiety. Every single one of us, no one's immune to it. But now you can finally put your shoulders down. Oof. This, this I guarantee you something, Cancer, this year is going to end on a high note. You're going to be super excited in January. Let's get to your main love reading for my lovely Cancerians. I love doing your energy because I've got cancer very strong in my chart, so I can definitely relate to you. All right, let's see. Here we go for my lovely Cancerians, please. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, Ten of Wands, look at this. Sagittarius energy, look at that. You're huffing and puffing away, you're working. Some of you um, may have actually multiple jobs, too many projects, too many things going on at once. Home life seems chaotic. And then you go to work and it's like, when can I breathe? No, no, no. Something's going to happen. And now you get to drop all of these, especially if it's related now to love. To get to this point, Cancer, it has not been easy for you. It hasn't. And each single one there represents a lesson that you have learned. But now it's time to drop them. All the tens indicate the end of a cycle. So it seems here that uh, whoever gave you stress, they're stressed about this as well. Why? I want to see what's underneath this. Let's see. The strength to overcome this. Beautiful. This is what you want to see. Look at that. Strength card. Major there for Leo. This speaks of unconditional love. Perhaps it's reminding us to start loving ourselves more and even know that someone has caused you so much stress because this is a very high, highly stressful card, right? It's a high stress card. Probably the most stressful card in the entire deck. Um, you're still not giving up. Some of you may have like migraines here, stress or anxiety related conditions. Do not worry, your health is in, in good hands. Now, of course, I'm not a doctor, but when we do see strength, it means the return of health on all levels. It's also telling you know, to approach this situation, this relationship, which I don't think you're talking to this person, I don't, I'm thinking the majority of you are single, is to approach it with honey instead of vinegar, to learn that we cannot cut every person with the same sword. You will get, oh God, I don't know how to exp express myself anymore, um, Cancer, but this, you're going to get your peace. Something's going to happen. Maybe this person will reach out. We'll see. Either way, we have the Nine of Pentacles. That is very strong Virgo energy. That is my singles card. You may be alone, but you're not lonely. You're focusing on your studies, your career, your finances. If there are no resources, I don't know how you do it, Cancer, but you find the resources. It's the card of luxury. People are finding you very attractive. It's like, whoa, how is Cancer doing this? But look at this. We have the Queen of Wands. Someone will be taking action towards you. The question is, will you reciprocate? Because I see you holding back. It's like enough is enough is enough. Where, where is that line that we draw? Someone's going to, I mean, obviously we're seeing someone around you that finds you very attractive. Um, they seeing you as someone very accomplished. You may have your own business or thinking about having your own business here. But the Four of Swords. So we have physical and we've got mental exhaustion here as well. That's Libra energy. I think you're going to be chewing on the idea, gathering your thoughts, because you're still in kind of rest, recuper, like recuperating. Is that what I'm trying to say? Recovery. Some of you may be recovering from like a cold or your health. And I'm seeing that you will do it, but um, you're holding back. Why are you holding back from this person? Gemini energy. Hmm. Could be holding back because you are tired of this merry-go-round. You're tired of this cycle. Now, I want to get to the main cards and I want to see how they connect with your energy cards and the overall energy. The first card is the Five of Wands. Mm. 
no wonder. Leo energy, too much conflict. There were arguments. Things didn't end very good with this person. The two of pentacles. Capricorn energy. Now the choice is going to be yours. Especially if your person was trying to balance you and someone else. Or trying to keep you and perhaps maybe family or an ex happy. That didn't work out. Nope. What else do we have? The king of wands. Look at that. We got the perfect match. The king of wands. And we also have the queen of wands. Yeah, I think you're thinking, oh, listen, I might take action. I might not. I'm going to think about it. I don't see you rushing back at all or even replying to this person straight away. Yeah, they will. But I think you're just kind of like, oh, I don't really know what to do. Queen of Swords. Hmm, interesting. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the sword right through the heart. I think this person has perhaps said something to the last conversation you had. I think it really hurt you. This is someone that you know, could be an ex actually. You have history with this person. Here they come, they wanna talk about what happened here. They might have said something or done something that really, really hurt you. The beating heart of the reading is the 10 of cups. That's Pisces energy. Wow, that's reconciliation, that is happiness. But here you are thinking, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't even know if I wanna hear from this person again. The Knight of cups. There you are, cancer energy. You're looking to the future. Do I want to accept this cup? Do I want to accept this apology from this person? Ace of Swords. Ooh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're going to get straight to the point. They want to offer you some clarity about what happened here. Um, and the reason why I'm saying real big clarity is because a lot happened behind the scenes. I think your person may have been influenced in a very negative way. And I don't think you actually even know about that. You're going to find out though. Seven of Wands. Leo energy. This is defending for what you believe in. This is standing your ground, defending your position in the near future. I think you're tossing up between whether to kind of stand your ground and be single and move on or actually reunite with this person. In the outcome, we have the five of pentacles though. Mm, interesting. I think you may give this person the cold shoulder. Taurus energy. One more, please. Ace of wands, the passionate new start and the lovers. Yeah, I think you're torn here. That's what's happening. Yep. You're going to be receiving beautiful news for other areas of your life. But if you've been wanting to hear from this person, that will still give you peace. They don't want to argue with you. But I think you're torn between giving them the cold shoulder with the lovers reuniting with them and having a passionate new start here. Yeah, you're on the fence about this. I can see it. Too many people were involved in this connection in the past. And I'm wondering, were you aware of that? Because they need to tell you the truth. They want to come clean about this. And here you are thinking the ins, the outs, the positives and negatives. I'm definitely seeing that your person was trying to juggle you and other people in their life and they failed miserably. Here they come. You know, they're looking to the past, though. They're not too proud of what they've done. You're looking to the future, though. I think you're being a lot more practical. You don't really want to put your emotions into this. But I think you're going to hear them out. They're going to tell you the truth about something, about why they were so cold towards the end. They might have just said to you, you know what, I can't do this anymore. Or they just allowed someone to walk all over this relationship and interfere. And they want to tell you why now. The beating heart of the reading can often represent mutual energies here as well. The Ten of Cups does speak of reconciliation of that happily ever after. Yes, which is something they want to fight for. But they do know this is your call to make, though. There could be children involved or a blended family. There could be an apology coming your way. But I feel like for you, it's like talk is cheap. In other words, it's like, I know you're sorry, but what are you going to do about it now? And I'm seeing in the near future, they're going to fight for this because first, above anything else, they want to talk to you about what happened all that conflict, all the arguments, the tension, people that were perhaps against it. They might have said it to your face. They might have said it behind your back because we've got a lot of clarity. There's still a lot more that happened that you don't know about. And here we've got that seven of wands. We've got the phoenix rising from the ashes. Someone that your person that really wants to defend this. But this is the thing. We have abandonment issues. I mean, I don't know what your person expects, though. But um, when you needed them the most, they left. We start with a five. We end with a five sandwiched in the middle is do I want this reconciliation? Do I want this brand new start? Do I want to reunite? This person does love you. I know they have a funny way of showing it, but I do want to clarify these cards. I want to get to the bottom of it. No wonder you're holding back. 
honestly, Cancer, I'd be holding back as well. I'd be thinking, oh, well, there's many ways to handle this, but um, they didn't handle it the best way. And if we have any health issues, um, there is a big recovery there. So that's excellent. Let me clarify these cards. Yeah, we got judgment. Scorpio energy. Okay, so according to your person, according to them, there is unfinished business. And that's what they want to talk to you about. Mm. Cancer, please. November 2022. Everything and anything that cancer should know about, please, for their highest good. Whoa. And only for their highest good, please. All right. Here we go. Cancer. Let's see. What else do we have? Bottom of the deck is the full Aries energy, the first card of the major arcana. It's your person trying to reclaim the innocence about having new beginnings with you. And they know this comes with an enormous amount of risk. They may peeve off a lot of people on their side, but they don't care. Even if your person is at a distance, they still want to be with you. But I think you're wondering, is the juice worth the squeeze? Should I take that? You know, should I even meet them halfway? Let's see. Yep, seven of ones twice. Should I fight for this? Because at the moment, what I'm seeing is that you're pretty much in a, a bit of a defensive mode at the moment. You're protecting your energy. Your boundaries are very tight. You're very discerning now about who you give a second chance, who you talk to. So both of you might be mirroring each other to a certain degree of thinking, is this worth fighting for? I know your person thinks it is, which is why we have the three of cups. That's you. That's cancer energy. This is reconciliation. This particular three comes with an enormous amount of healing. They might even say, let's start off as friends. You probably started off as friends. Maybe your friends hang out with their friends. There is some connection there with, you know, on your side and on their side here as well. They definitely want a new beginning. There it is again, judgment. I think they made a very poor judgment here. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. They walked away. They weren't happy about it. Poor decisions. Yeah, I think they're realizing now that um, their decision to leave, when things just got out of hand, when things got messy, they feel like they couldn't handle it. There were too many people involved here. They just left. They instantly regretted it. That's why we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom again. They're going to take action. So let's talk about that Five of Wands because I feel like that was kind of like the platform. It was the driving force of why everything went south. Let's see. Ha, well, yes, now they're in regret. Gemini energy, Nine of Swords. See all those love letters all burning up around your person? Things I shouldn't have said to Cancer, but I didn't. Things I should have done to protect Cancer, and I didn't. Yeah, they've learned a big lesson here. They've learned a huge lesson here of, you know, when we're in a relationship, we need to honor the person. It's not just all about them. You were in this connection here as well. And along the lines, I forgot about it. Your person here is suffering a lot. It's about mental anguish, guilt seeks punishment. They definitely could be, for example, drinking, feeling quite lonely, depressed at night, barely sleeping. Let's talk about that two of pentacles. Um, this will fall on your shoulders. Yeah. Three of Wands, Aries energy, we get, regardless, listen, even if they are long distance or not, I feel that some of you are actually waiting for this person to see, are they actually going to come back? Are they actually even going to even try and be friends with me, for example? Um, but that's the thing. I do see that your person will definitely reach out to you. Perhaps, like I said, we've got the dove there. They want to offer, you know, like... Um, how can I say, you know, that, that peace offering, for example, they're just waiting for the right moment. They're not coming back because they're so afraid. They're not coming back because they have a guilty conscience. And I think, you know, there is unfinished business. I think, you know, they're coming back and they will because we have the king of wands. Let's talk about the king of cups now. Yep. Scorpio could be an, a fellow Cancerian um, and also um, a Pisces. Here they come to take action now. This person, yes, believe it or not, 
has grown up. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact that I'm seeing a lot of kings and queens, a lot of grown up energy now. This person is really kind of owning up to their actions. They're coming back not only with a lot of passion because the physical side of the relationship was through the roof, but there is also a lot of love here. They're coming back a lot more empathetic now, a lot more intuitive. One thing I think your person failed was to one, tell you the truth about why they were leaving and also their true feelings. They're going to be very cl clear about that right now. Definitely couldn't have been a third party situation as well. I'm seeing because we're seeing two different Kings. Let's talk about the queen of swords. Yep. The nine of wands, Sag, Leo, Aries. Here they come. The call to action night and the traveling night. Even, I mean, all nights really are travelers, but this one can definitely indicate if your person is at a certain distance, they do want to meet you in the middle. And I think what they're regretting now is how unreliable they were, how unsure they were in the past. You know, one minute like this, it's like, yes, I want cancer. The next day it's like, oh, I don't want to be with cancer. I don't know what I want. They were kind of like in and out of your life, a bit wishy-washy, very unreliable here. And at one point it was just all about passion, but it cannot be just about that. It's also got to be about the emotions, the communication and honoring you and defending you, which is what they're going to do. Let's talk about that beautiful 10 of cups, the hermit. Virgo energy. That's the why sage. This is definitely your call now, Cancer. And they know that, which is probably why they're sitting there thinking, what have I done? And they probably have to live with that with the rest of their life. It's your call. I think either you reconcile or you move forward now. Now, the why sage is all about introspection. I think both of you are 100% single, not talking to a lot of people and just really looking within now about what makes me happy. Certainly your person has done a lot of inner work which is why they want to come towards you because you're looking to the future now thinking, oh, okay, they've said sorry. They want to offer me their cup. They want reconciliation. Do I want that? Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. You, I think you can picture life with them. Absolutely. Ten of Pentacles is about having it all. And it's more tangible. It's, you know, having the luxury, the privilege of carrying on family traditions from both sides. It's about having that security and that stability within each other, commitment or marriage, the beautiful home, even, you know, enjoying an inheritance together. This is what your person, they want it all with you. But I think it's just your question is, do I, I want this, but do I want it now from this person? Let's see, what are they going to clarify to you about? Oh, you got my favorite card, the sun. Leo energy. This is about pure happiness, joy, bliss. Again, the return of health for many of you as well. Happy, healthy, happy, healthy children, I meant to say. I mean, we cannot ignore the fact that you both make, made each other happy. I think you still make each other happy. Um, and really, I think your person now has realized how unhappy they are without you. And they're going to make that very clear there. They want a brand new start. It may make you very happy though. You're still questioning everything though. Let's talk about that seven of wands, 10 of wands. Both of you have the 10 of wands. You're both very stressed about this. Yeah. I think you're both waiting for each other, waiting for the first person to reach out, which um, cancer, I don't see you reaching out at all to this person. You're really kind of focused on other areas of your life. Yes. Your heart may be still waiting for this person, but logically you're like, no, you did what you did. If you wanted to reach out, you have to reach out first, which I think is actually more than fair. Um, but I am seeing here that um, <laughs> they're very stressed about this, even though they love you, they're passionate, that you make them happy. I think here that it's like after all the effort, you, if you say no, it, it's like, OK, let's go back to my stressful life again. Let's look at the outcome. The Queen of Pentacles. Wow. OK. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is all about committing to one another, having fun, getting good news. The Five of Cups. Your person's lost something. They're mourning over you. Let's split. Oh, there we go. There's my camera. <laughs> my, there we are. Uh, Miles, my, uh, my, I said my camera, my microphone. Um, it just came out. Split the deck, please. Yep, there we are. The Two of Cups. That's who cancer energy. That's the card of true love here. I think what's happening here is that they're going to give you news. Something has ended. They've been crying over you. They've been mourning over you. And again, how much they want to commit to you. I feel here though, is that there is a chance of success, but this is going to take time. This is going to be a process. 
in the meantime, you're getting peace here. Yeah, and you're going to get that. You're going to get a message from them. We know that. Treasure Island. It's going to happen, Cancer. This can definitely even wrap up all. I'm um, even probably around January, February, all this wraps up. So this could actually even happen um, before the end of this year. We still have November and we have December as well. They've been crying over you. And I think. I'm not saying that you're happy that they're crying, but it, it shows that they've actually cared here and how much they want to commit to you. Yeah, it's just going to take time. That's all. They need to regain your trust again. But I'm, I'm seeing here that um, honestly, if I had to summarize this, we've got peace. We've got messages coming your way. We've got the treasure island. Any wishes that you've had regarding this person and other areas of your life will be granted. I don't care where the sun lands. You've got a happy outcome. It's the card of illumination. So whatever was hidden from you, whatever was, you know, I never got the answers or I didn't get clarity, you will get all of it. The sun will shine upon everything. So Cancer, this is what I have for you. I will see you in the next couple of days for your next reading. And I thank you very much for joining me. Please take care. Bye.